Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Micah, and today we are going to go into the science of alpha males, specifically talking about chimpanzees. I looked at a study conducted in the Mahali Mountains, which, if you don't know where the Mahali Mountains are, then who are you? Just kidding, I didn't know where they were either. It's in Tanzania, Africa. <laughs> the study was conducted between the years of 1981 and 1989, so a long time. And just a little background before I get into the study, I promise I'm going to show you actual clips from the study. It's going to be awesome. Just as a little background, they followed the alpha chimpanzee male named Tajali, spelled with an N, I'm guessing it's silent, but I don't speak African. Natalji was the alpha male because he was the best hunter. He brought in the most meat. And they wanted to see who, which chimpanzees he shared meat with, and why he shared meat with those chimpanzees. So let's just get to the results. Let's get to the meat of the study, the important stuff. They found that Natalji, the alpha male, would share as a political strategy. He wanted to keep his status as the alpha male. And in order to do so, it appeared that he followed consistent rules that dictated with whom to share meat. He would not share with two specific groups, and he would share with three specific groups. The first group that he would not share with were young males who are rising in the dominance hierarchy. So these younger than 20 year old males who are coming up, they're gaining their strength, they're gaining their energy, they're, he would not share with them because the potential rise in status of these males were a threat to him and they were a threat to his alpha status. The second group that Natalji would not share with were the beta males. He did not want them to gain enough strength so that they would overpower him. So kind of the same thing that he did not want to be threatened by the beta male. Uh, they found that in previous studies that if the beta male did overtake the alpha male, then the alpha male would become ostracized. And the alpha male would fall way, way lower in the totem pole. The first group that Natalji, the alpha male, would share his meat with were non-threatening, middle to low class ranking males. He shared most often with a male named Lubulungu, who was a middle to low ranking small bodied male. He would do it because they were of no threat to him. They were not threatening to take over as alphas. They were either too small or too weak. The second group that Natalji would share with were the old but influential males. He would share with a male named Kajimimi, who is the second oldest male, and Kalindimia, who is the oldest male, and he was very shy. These males were very influential. They were old. Uh, they were not threatening because they were weak, and they've actually seen the same observation in other studies with other chimpanzees, that the alpha is friends with the older influential males. And the last group that Natalji would share with were the females. He would share with his mother, probably just because of that motherly love that he felt his entire life, and also with the females that he wanted to mate with. It was kind of a trade. He would give them meat, they would mate with him, and have his posterity. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you learned a lot. I hope you learned things that you can apply to your life. Remember that the secret to living is giving. That is true in the chimpanzee world and also in the human world. Uh, you can use these rules as a kind of political power if you want uh, or just to be a good person. Giving is living. Hit that like and subscribe button and thank you guys for watching.